All right, William Kelly. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. Okay. Why are you telling me? Because you can't behave. Excuse me, don't hit me with the I microphone, okay? Not a, why, sir, I mean, sir, just every hear, other reporter sir, just, held the microphone. Sir, can you please ask your every question? Every other reporter held the microphone. I don't believe that that's correct. Mayor Go Lightfoot, ahead. every, I have it on camera. Every single reporter held the microphone. Can you ask your question, May sir? I just, why, come on, don't be, don't be a jerk. Could just, you just hand me the microphone? Do you have a question, yes or no? I have a lot of questions. Ask the question. Uh, okay, so, Mayor Lightfoot, every time I ask you about crime in Chicago, you say crime is down. Real Chicagoans know that that's not true, that crime is up. Violent sexual assault, it's on the news every day, up. Violent carjackings every day, up. Hit and run, a hundred day hit and run of Chicagoans. Do you have a question, sir? Yes, the obvious question that I've been asked by real Chicagoans to ask you is, are you lying or are you incompetent? I, I very, doubt very much that that's a question you've been asking. That's a real question I, I, from real Chicago. So are you gonna, lying? I'm Actually, that's not you. the exact wording. Sir, I'm trying to clean it up. Sir, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer the question. And then I have a follow-up. The, the, the data speaks for itself. The data. And on all of the, all of the measure, measures that you've just talked about, homicide, shootings, carjackings, down this year, sir, Sorry to disappoint you. 178% in increase in carjackings, violent carjackings in downtown no, Chicago. You are, Sir, carjackings in our city. Millennium are Park. Down. Please don't God. Okay. You are you are one of the rudest people I've ever seen. You really are. I am. Yeah, yeah you are, sir. Okay. You are, I, sir. I would think that carjackers would be the rudest people. Well, no, you're rude in this room. Okay. Because you you want to give a speech and pontificate, but you don't actually want to listen to the facts. And the facts are, while nobody's taking a victory lap. While we have a lot more work to do, the fact of the matter is, carjackings are down, shootings are down, and homicides are down. You have another question to follow up, sir? I do indeed. The reason why workers do not want to return to the downtown offices, the reason why tourism is obviously flat, flatlined, uh, is because people are afraid of the violent crime, mm -hmm. especially in downtown Chicago, River North, Streeterville, uh, Millennium Park, Grant Park. We have every single day Violent carjackings, gun to the head, Sir, gun to the head. Violent please, carjackings. Please, I'm going to ask you. I've been very patient with you. You come in here and you give a speech every single time. Just ask your question. Be a real journalist. Ask your question. A very disturbing development with the violent carjackings is they are primarily being carried out by teenagers. And when I say teenagers, I mean 14, 15, 16 year old mm -hmm. black I'm aware children. Of the data, sir. What is the reason for this? And what is your plan at long last? to solve this problem? Well, first of all, let me just say this. We are actually seeing an increase in the number of people that are coming back downtown. Um, and it's certainly an increase over last year and month over month. And we're part of the reason that we've heard uh, from employers as to why they still haven't brought back all their employees is because of first the Delta, um, which uh, we were experiencing in the fall, and then Omicron, which we were experiencing at the end of the year and the beginning of this year. We're, our expectations, based upon our regular conversations uh, with employers uh, and building owners, is that we're going to start to see more and more people come back downtown. So once again, sir, you, it's really important that you get your facts right. Yes, you're, you're, uh, you are right on one point, which is that a number of people that are involved in our carjackings are juveniles. We're arresting people uh, who are juveniles that have three, four, five, six pending cases. Repeat the answer, offenders. The answer, the answer there is we've got to get the courts, frankly, to take this seriously. We don't, I don't agree that we lock up juveniles and throw around the key, throw away the key, but what we must do is not just do nothing, which is what unfortunately was happening right now. So we are working with the state's attorney, we're going to be reaching out to um, the public defender, but other stakeholders to make sure that we're intervening with these kids. So for example, there was an infamous story of an 11 year old who was arrested last fall, um, who was a leader of a carjacking crew. Because of the work that's been done to intervene with that young boy, to change his life around, he was growing up in very, very difficult circumstances. He's now in a stable home setting, he's going to school regularly, and I'm told that he just made the, inter the honor roll. That's one case. Honor roll student. What, what, if you want to do call and response, this, isn't, don't interrupt, this isn't the place. This isn't the place for it. So I think I've answered enough of your questions. Do I get to Thank ask a question? Do I get? Have a great day. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable.